Okay, so if you found this video, that means you're either considering reading Sapiens or maybe you've already read it. Um, hello, my name is Olivia Brown. I'm currently a junior at UCLA and I'm an anthropology major. And to say the least, if you are a history major or an anthropology major, this book is gonna hit on so much of what you've learned in school. Or even if you're not a student, this is a great read and I'm here to break it down a little bit. Okay, so first things first. This book, I am definitely more of like a fictional girl. I like fiction books, I like novels, fantasy. Um, and this was definitely out of my comfort zone, but given the 2020 pandemic, I decided to give it a shot. And the first thing I noticed is it took me a long time to get through. I granted didn't sit down for like huge chunks of time to read it, but I would say it took me about a month to get through the full thing. And there's a reason for this that I really, really want to talk about. It says on the cover that this is a brief history of humankind. Because of that, it's inevitable that you are going to run into parts of the book that you are not interested. So I study evolutionary biology, biological anthropology. Those are like my areas. And so for me, the most interesting part of the book was the earliest portion of humankind. I just ran out of camera storage, so hopefully it's working again. Um, so what happens is you get through a part of history that you are super interested in, but then you're bound to hit a part of history that you're not interested in. But ultimately, I think for most people, you gotta get through this like downward section and then eventually you will hit something that you're interested in again. So go into it knowing that you are not gonna be passionate about the entire book. Secondly, like I said, this book took me about a month and part of that is because it is mentally draining. Now, I do not think that this is the hardest book to read at all. It's written extremely well. It's written for audiences who do not know a lot about anthropology or history. But with that said, it is a lot of information that you're getting on every single page. And because of that, I had to take some mental breaks. Third thing that I wanna talk about. Now, this could be a little bit touchy and this is kind of where it gets opinionated. Sapiens takes a very anti-religion standpoint. Now, I myself would not say that I'm religious. One of my parents is. Um, I have gone to church before, but it's not really my like passion. But that doesn't mean that it's not real or isn't out there or anything like that. I don't feel like that's my place to say. And this book is constantly over and over and over again minimizes not the power of religion. It Religion is a big piece of this book, but it takes religion. Religion is like obviously false. And that's the only way that I can explain that really. The grounds of his theory and his um, information really does rest upon the fact that, oh, given that religion is part of our imaginations, X, Y, and Z can therefore happen. And if you either are religious or have people in your life that are religious, you need to know that going into this book, that is what you're going to find. Next, I wanna talk about the writing style. And normally, nonfiction books have a very informative writing style. Now, this book is extremely informative, but the writing style is different than anything I've ever experienced. Harari often has like conversations with you or he'll be like, hey you, you know this thing, I want you to think of it like this. Um, and he'll put a lot of like, what could have been complicated information into analogy. And I really, really enjoyed that. I thought it was an extremely great way to engage readers who might not necessarily be interested in this like some facet of history. He has a conversation with you and I love that and you probably will too. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to say, oh my God, my camera's flashing. The last thing that I wanted to say is this book is brief. If you are a history major, you are probably not gonna learn much from this book. Same with me, as an anthropology major going into it, I would not say that I gained very much anthropological knowledge. The first like quarter of the book was a lot of repetition for me. Um, but I'm not a history major, so a lot of like the more recent information, I gained a ton. So don't go into this book thinking that you're gonna gain a lot of like detailed knowledge if, if you're coming from those fields. If you're looking for something brief, this is the place to go. However, if you want details, maybe go somewhere else. Okay, so overall, I would give this a four out of five stars. Granted, I have not read a lot of nonfiction in my life on my own accord. Normally I do that for school, but uh, 
yeah, I would give it four out of five stars. Five stars and would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this to someone else. Um, just keep in mind everything I've said, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day. Stay safe during this pandemic, and all for now. Bye.